Hi everybody, TJ here at Wisconsin. I just want to talk real quick about EDC, Everyday Carry. Now, there's a lot of videos out there where people are talking about the bags that they use for Everyday Carry, and I don't subscribe to that line of thinking because I don't walk into Walmart carrying a Maxpedition bag. This is the stuff that I have on me pretty much all the time. It's kind of unrealistic to place all of your hopes and dreams into a tactical bag because it's you're not going to have it on you all the time. And if you do, then you're probably sticking out like a sore thumb. So the things that I have on me pretty much every day, I'm going to have my wallet. Of course, I'm going to have emergency contact stuff and all my information. Um, inside the wallet, I keep a little knife. Uh, this isn't anything special, It's but it's small. It packs away nice. It's the Lifeline Card Sharp. Folds up into a nice little, nice little pocket knife size blade. Um, it is extremely sharp. You can shave with this thing and it's very handy to have around. It takes up no space, but if you do have one of these in, wa in your wallet, remember to take it out when you go to the airport. Okay. If you forget this is in your wallet, TSA is going to have themselves another knife. Now got to have my bacon lip balm. Okay. Everybody needs to have lip balm that tastes like bacon. Okay. JD bacon salts. Now, other things that I usually have in my wallet, I have a book of matches, came out of a pack of MREs, and I have a razor blade tucked behind the matches. Uh, so wherever I am, I've got some a cutting instrument and I've got a way to make fire. And that just goes right into my wallet. A little chunk of aluminum foil. Uh, this can be used for lots of things. Uh, aluminum foil is good for for signaling. It's You can make a cup out of it, boil water. Uh, you wrap up a piece of meat, throw it in the fire, whatever you want to do with a piece of aluminum foil, I've got one. Uh, also a small Fresnel lens, compliments of the uh, Dubuque Greyhound Parking Casino. Uh, you know, just an everyday magnifier, you can start fire with that, I uh, did that a lot in my youth. Uh, when I, back when I was a Boy Scout and everything, we made fires using magnifying glasses all the time. Practice it a few times, it's not hard to learn, and it does work. Now, I always have, have a decent pocket knife with me. Um, cold steel, titanium light, or TI light. Done some modifications to it to make it fit my hand better. I carved away a portion of the handle here so I can reach the thumb stud more easily. I also added a little bit of space there for grip because that just happens to be where my thumb is usually sitting when I have the knife out. This is the Streamlight MicroStream. The Streamlight MicroStream is a AAA flashlight. Uh, this is extremely bright. It has come in handy more times than I care to count. And for less than 20 bucks, this is one of the best investments a person can make. Cigarette lighter, again for obvious reasons. Cell phone, modern days we all have cell phones with us. Countless apps can be put on your cell phone. You've got your GPS functions, you've got your camera, you've got your flashlight. You can store files with, with your personal information on there. Uh, take photos of your prescriptions. Photos of your driver's license, your proof of insurance card, okay? If you get stopped by the police and you can't find that insurance card, at least if you have a photograph of it, they can see that you do have proof of insurance. Nobody says it has to be in the form of a card. And lastly but not least, the Smith & Wesson MP40. Um, the gun is loaded and chambered. In my opinion, that is a safe gun. That is how I keep my gun safe. Uh, so I'm not going to be handling that a whole lot for the purposes of this video, but that is generally my everyday carry handgun. Um, I do have different guns that I carry on a regular basis. For today, this is the one I'm going to cover. Uh, gone with, I went with the 40 because it fits my hand better than a 45 does. Um, I do often carry a Glock Model 21 45 and the grip on that thing is like holding on to a 2x4. Where the Smith & Wesson seems to fit my hand a little bit better. I know the 45 is a better round, but shot placement is important. And for the Smith & Wesson M&P 40, I use the Serpa holster from Blackhawk. Um, Blackhawk, generally, I feel is an overhyped product. In general, as far as brand names go, I am far from a brand person. 
However, this has been a great holster for me and I have different versions of it for several of my other guns. So there it is, a little bit about EDC.